Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use this nutmeg, this egg, to make this, the coffee cocktail. But first, this. All right, so let's get into it. Now, this cocktail first shows up in Jerry Thomas's Bartender's Guide from 1887, and he wrote that the drink looks like coffee, and I'm pretty sure that's where it got its name. But this coffee cocktail is famous for one thing and one thing only. There's absolutely no coffee in it. I know, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make it, we're going to taste it, and we're going to see if it tastes like coffee. So the first thing we need is my shaking glass. The next thing I need is a full egg. After that, I need two ounces of a tawny port. Now, I'm using a 10 year old uh, Graham's tawny port here. It's got this really, really nice color. Now, a tawny port is a fortified wine. So we need two ounces of this or 60 milliliters. Oh, and it smells so good and sweet and Oh, yeah, yeah, you just, you know, you gotta. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. Got a little distracted there. Uh, the next thing, of course, I need is some cognac or brandy. Now, brandy is cognac. However, it can only be called cognac if it comes from the cognac region of France. Otherwise, brandy is brandy, but not all cognacs are. Cognac is brandy, but not all brandy is cognac. I'll get it right eventually. So the next thing we need, of course, is one ounce or 30 milliliters. And last but not least, we need a little bit of simple syrup. And we're going to use half an ounce. Half an ounce is 30 mil 15 milliliters, and it goes to uh, a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar. It's already looking kind of interesting there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry shake this. So I'm going to shake this for about 10 seconds and then I'm going to add some ice and shake it again. Now we'll add a little bit of ice. And again, for another 10 seconds or so. It's a very interesting color. Wipe my hands down. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in a nice little Nick and Nora glass here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine strain this. And one of the reasons I'm going to fine strain this is you want to get the, the coating from the egg. And there's a word for it, and I can't remember what it is. This actually looks like an iced coffee in today's sense. It's a nice, creamy, gorgeous look. That would probably be a double-double from your local uh, coffee shop. But we're not done. Now we need to garnish this. So what we're gonna use is a little bit of fresh nutmeg and we're gonna grate the nutmeg over the top of this. Oh, perfect. I call nutmeg the cocaine, bartender's cocaine. So what you do is you get that spicy smell immediately off the top from the uh, the nutmeg, which is really quite nice. Oh, that is very good. It doesn't taste like coffee. It's not bitter like coffee. It's nicely balanced. It's just sweet enough. I can taste the port coming through. Oh, mm. I think this is going to be one of my new favorites. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
I really like this. You can really taste the fortified wine. You can just taste the brandy. It mixes very, very nicely. You get the spice from the, uh, uh, the nutmeg. And you know what? I definitely, definitely want the rest of this. <laughs> it's such a good cocktail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the bottom below. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notica notif notification. That way, every time I make a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like a really good port or a really good brandy, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. Now this coffee cocktail first shows up in now this cocktail first shows up in Jerry Thomas's guide. Jerry Thomas's bartender's guide. So let's get into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it, try it, and see if it tastes like coffee. Now, first thing I need, of course, is my shaking glass. Now, eggs, that's what I need. 